Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cowbling VLDC X, and today Twoka presents to us Perilous Paintings. There's two P's, so you know that it's a level. First VLDC! Oh wow, your first level in years. Not ever, but in years. We're gonna have painting in Yoshi House. Whoa, whoa. And that is Yoshi Island, too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Perilous Paintings in all cap here. Well, there's the moon. I found it. <laughs> I don't know how it'd get up there. Uh, can you go on top of this ruin? Oh no, there's an invisible wall there. Alright, that's cute. No, yeah, I'm digging this. Alright, I'm just looking for invisible blocks or something very poorly. There's another moon. Oh, uh, it's just a decorado. It's a painting, really. Oh yeah, there's a door. See, those are the paintings they put on the outside of the building. That seems like a really bad idea. But now we're in the gallery itself. This painting I call, check out these pipes, one of these swamps. Oh, it's gray! I never would have been able to tell. You know what? I am digging this. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh! Put some little star shine there. All right, and using the help of this patron of the arts, I'm gonna fall between both swamps and look a fool. Sweet. <laughs> I love it. Finally, all my dreams are coming true. Okay, I'm digging this. Like, you know, like, it's not, it's something I've seen before. Oh, Mario and Luigi. Look at this famous painting. So, I take it, this is not a gallery in, like, whoa. That statue is having a good time. This is what they call an art installation. Well, I can't get the Dagadons anymore. Because of my unfortunate little accident there. I don't know, this is also like a happening of some kind. Just throw fire at the patrons. Sounds like a dangerous thing to do. This is a ghost gallery. A study of booze and magical floors that often come. Whoa, watch out there. Let's see, this one used to just be a painting. We still. Uh, oh, shoot. Uh, okay, so thanks to sprites, that other hole that's supposed to be here didn't also here, making it- dang it, this is semi-solid, really? Yeah, uh, if you want a sprite that despawns real easily, the movable hole is a good way to go. Like, I guess it's a little ironic, because technically speaking, it is nothing. That's the blue moon. Hey, we're out of the- out of- really? Wait, I did not encounter enough coins at all. Didn't I? This level feels like it's- like, this sounds insane to say, but... It feels like- this is a rare case where I definitely want more. It feels like there's something missing. There was that high pipe at some point, so maybe there was a secret passage somewhere? Uh, I don't have an immediate idea of what it could be, so I'll just let it go for now, but no, yeah! I am kind of- I'm kind of left wanting more. There's a lot of design space left. I mean, I appreciate you cutting it to your ideas, though. Like, that I cannot say enough. Plundersome Pyramid uh, by Ivy. See, first we had PP, and here we also have P and P. That's pretty weird. This one has a whole lot. It's good, though. We're still at Yoshi's Island. It's full of grass. And we're going to find a pyramid here. Incredible. Look at this sand. Look at that happy pokey head. Look at that flame. So that's why the desert is dangerous and why you don't want to go there. There's fire. The sand is just constantly on fire because it's so warm there. It's incredible. Pokey, though. He's just happy to belong. So, there I died because in a lot of levels that reuse this sweet palm tree graphic, the top tends to be solid, not here. That's not the author's fault, but it's gonna happen. Now, where's that Spider-Man? I wanna read, but Pokey's in the way, and Pody hates literacy. Well, there you go. We found a solution. Mario Sly's a very good attack! Well, <laughs> okay. I knew that already, but I appreciate having, you know, the game going like, no, yeah, just, just do that. And, oh, see, here you can just do that and go inside the sweet cave here. Destroy all the cact- Yup! The game crashed again. I, I... That is still a mystery. Like, peeps, 
Like, I know one person, you know, using my version of SNES 9X and this version of the game, they played the game for like an hour or something, trying to recreate what would cause these crashes, and they were not able to recreate them. I myself, oh, here you can also use a star instead, have tried to replay things that make it crash, and Okay, this time, so this is the first time it crashed two in a row, this time it worked. Uh, I just went right and I, I started recording as soon as I saw that I'm free to go through. Yeah, so like I was saying, we no one knows yet what is causing these. Oh wow, that was lucky on my end. <laughs> like, we've tried, other people have tried to play the game in the exact same conditions that I play them, and... It's it, it cannot be recreated. No one knows what's happening. Am I before or after? Okay, I'm way back here. All right, well You go there you can get money. It's pretty swell So yeah, it is a mystery. What could be causing this? Uh, I wish it didn't but like <laughs> Hey, you can get one ups here in the pyramid though. It's pretty sweet. It's like another kind not a random pyramid You can also destroy fire. It's too bad. I'm already at like a hundred like 99 lives because uh, otherwise if, oh well if you want a secret exit here's the first step get hurt by everything in the universe and that flame's gonna hum around so like the key is, is, is kind of here you know it's, if you're excited for keys I mean I can't blame you they are extremely exciting oh there's the dirty water and Lakitu too oh, you can do something here probably I could do that jump if I wanted, but I'm carrying a key, which is kind of throwing my physics into wag zone. Well, here's a little place, but you can't bring a key in the door. So what does that mean? One day I will fry this pie. I'll have the most delicious peach in the world. All right, well, here there's... Oh, okay, you bring the key to go inside this door, which you otherwise would not be able to because... Oh, and I get a secret sour sauce flavor sauce to get here, too. Yeah, see, and this time no crashes. No one knows why. So, I'm like an alternate gameplay level here. Alright, let's, let's follow the coins, man. We seem to have found ourselves a vertical level. With, like, moving pieces and, like, things. So everyone at full attention. Can you even do anything? Oh, whoops, well... Maybe, but yeah, C could have just done the jump like that instead of just sitting there and taking the hit like an idiot. Well, you can get a life back. Hi, Spike. Not worth it. I prefer a power up. I'm just gonna slide kill all these cacti. That's right. I did it. Okay, I would want that. Well, time to test out that pop up mushroom that popped up. <laughs> Sweet. There's just like this gate. That exist here. You cannot enter in the middle though. You have to dance around so you can enter inside like this side of the gate. Ah, it's all good. See, with something like this, I feel compelled to do both exit. Ah, see, this is... This can happen. So, I mean, I don't know if it's fully blind. In the virtue of the fact that you can like stagger your fall a lot more than I did. Like, I just kind of went in, like, all hail bonanza there, and, you know, it wasn't the right idea to do. Whoops, there, I spun jump a bit too late. It's fine. Is it fine, though? Uh, we can pretend. Alright, I'm stuck in the middle of- oh, oh, whoops! Like, there's a lot of stuff just kind of hanging out. And there, I- that's just a science fact right there. Hey, now they're all time nice. Uh, not that guy, though. I mean, that's my fault. I should've, you know- Rushed a little bit less. Can I go here? I guess so. I don't know where I want to be, but I can take a guess at where I can be. There's writing in the wall. That's pretty sweet. Like, okay, is there land anywhere? Okay, there's land everywhere, it turns out. Just, oh, shoot. Yeah, no, of course. That's my fault. I did a dumb. I did a dumb. Yeah, like, 
Uh, yeah, I can kill Hotshot Fudge, but not not the mace. You just can't kill maces. Ridiculous, I know. Eh, I did it! I made it here big! Wow! Kill everything with my butt! That's how we celebrate. Alright, here I can just pop here. Here they are placed nicely. Here I'm gonna take my time. Look at that. If you play well, things go okay. Unbelievable. Whoops. So, so here's the thing. So as you know, I fixed the uh, ultra sensitivity of my controller. But now that I'm pressing four individual small buttons instead of like a related cross or something, I feel like I need when I when I'm going right with some momentum, like I need to actually like very consciously press left to break said momentum. I don't mind. It's just something I need to get used to and which I have not yet gone used to. But like it's it's a process. It's fine. Whoa, I'm just phasing through the stone, man. Check that out. I'm the ghost haunted Mario. Here with tricks. Alright, so here I've died, I saw that. This is like just hills with with this guy, with Pokey. And you just slide down the hill and you kill all the Pokey. It feels good. It's super sweet. You go like, yeah, I did it. And I'm like, oh, I want that mushroom. But I'm gonna get it hurt if I try to get it, so... I think I'm not going to. This segment goes on for a bit. A lot than what I would have initially expected. Uh, can I do that? Well, it didn't matter, is the reality. But you can. can I pop you? Ooh, P-switch that I'm gonna need. Ooh. Um, I don't know where the ground is or anything, but... Ah, uh, man. Okay, where is the ground? What is going on here? Is this a hole underneath me? Maybe, so I might just have made things way harder. Uh, let's go down here. Oh no, the camera still goes down. Oh, that's for a moon and I need another P-switch anyways. Never mind. I thought this was like for progress. Like I'll bob, I'll get these coins just in case, but like don't expect anything. You need a down scroll in this game. You need the ability to look down and up sometimes. Alright, well, coins lead a victory. Oh! I touched the victory skull! Yeah, I got a victory skull in me! Yo, it's the victory skull! Gonna shove it up there is my dreams! I wanna do a normal exit. Uh, there is no logic whether I want to do two exits or not. There is absolutely zero rationality. I do or I don't. There is no try. Um, I, I feel like this might- but like, the reality is the further in the contest we go, like, it's pretty likely that it's gonna get just more and more likely that Whatever it is that tickles my desire to play some more, like it's just more and more likely that it's going to be present. It's a football, man. Football is random. I kind of forgot about this weird like mud oasis and then just casually walking downward through the sand like that. Is there going to be like 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 a traditional midpoint here? Well, this is the r well lit up version of the pyramid. You can get a one up. Yeah, there we go. Traditional. Midpoint right here for me and you sand colored bat Real fun a thwimp is stuck. He's having a blast. Oh, I didn't press that fast enough But there's something up there. Well, can I fly there? Maybe Maybe Very definite maybe I just didn't okay. You know what just destroy this. I want to destroy you But you will not let yourself be destroyed. Thank you. I wanna fly up that strange thing in the ceiling. Like, it has caught my attention. And here I'm just being real bad. There we go. Then I can fly up here, go like, hi, spikes. There you go. See, this is a sand pit. It's pretty exciting. If you're into sand and pits, boy, howdy. 
You should visit Uncle Pharaoh's rudimentary pyramid scheme. Um, so I need a thing to bop over there. Well, there's a guy up there that I can, I can use to bop. And I think that's the whole reason why this whole setup exists. Wild and wacky. Well, um, I kind of failed my whole run in there and duck. Um, is he gonna come back? This seems really fragile, because yeah, I think he died in the lava, it counts as dying. This is a very fragile setup, you know, I, I didn't press, I, again, that's another thing that I'm just gonna need to learn as part of getting used to this new controller. Uh, ti timing between, you know, running, then you go like whoosh, and keep your momentum while you're whooshing. Uh, yeah, that is, that is not mastered. I can get a coin here, though. That's exciting. Oh, midpoint respond. That's fun. Oh, but you give me a cape. Yeah, if I can just keep the cape, too. That would solve all of my problems. Like, honestly, just keep the cape. Don't get hurt in a dumb way like before. How about that? That's a great idea. I can't believe I just thought about it, like, right now. Just bring a cape! Just bring a cape, friends of the pyramid! Just keep... Cape! Destroy the world! And the cape! Oh, that's a dancing mushroom. Oh, you're not gonna do your job very well, are you? Because of the way the block works? Oh no, we can have, make it happen, kinda. A little bit. Yay! You're doing it! Come on, shell face! You can make- Yeah, you destroy that wimp. And then, at the end, there's gonna be a vine that grows up here. Goes through the ceiling. And it's gonna be another occasion for another occasion. And you get money, and you get this block here. Whoop, there's another cape. Well, you know what? I'm happy about that. And it's like, hey, go over here. And I'm like, oh, I don't know, it looks scary. I think this is where you have to go, maybe? I don't know. Like, what do you do? You, I think I'm supposed to have, like, a P-switch or something? You know what? I'm content just driving on home. Here we go. Oh, there's the end. Wow. The second half, or like the normal half of the second half, seems a lot simpler and a lot shorter than the secret exit. Ah, it's fine. We just made an explosion happen right here. Oh, it's the Switch Palace probably, right? Yeah, because of event orders. <laughs> By doing the both exits, you cannot press a yellow switch. That'd be, that'd be a really mean trap to put in a ROM hack now that I think about it.